This is Invictus Launch Week. Where the UEE Navy, United Empire Earth, comes in and gathers all the new Navy recruits, wide-eyed greenhorns, and they get shipped to another system where they can do all their training. And it's also Fleet Week where they bring out all their big guns. Like that one. With this with the big dick energy right underneath it. Like it's a massive, massive gun. Ah damn. But uh we'll see that ship later. Yeah, we'll check out that ship later. Cause right now the fireworks are starting and Big Daddy is coming in. Now these ships is the first time they've actually been in game. Eventually they'll be player owned, but right now it's just AI flying them. It's also the first time having fireworks in game. So yeah, you can imagine uh, 4th of July and New Year's Day. It's gonna be fireworks everywhere in game. But here it is, the big daddy himself. This destroyer class. Called the Javelin. Here's the 999 squadron. It's a whole squadron of test pilots testing all the newest, baddest ships. Look at this. Huge broadsides. Huge cannons on the top and bottom. This anything that's on the business end of those guns will be Immolated. Now, in my excitement, I kind of tripped and fell. Now, this ship we're going to check out is called the F 8 Lightning. It's touted to be the best UE Navy ship, I believe. And only the best of the best pilots get to fly this. Like the 999 Squadron, featured here, and Squadron 42, which will be featured in the Squadron 42 campaign. Eventually, in order to purchase this in-game, you'll need to have a special license, and that license can only be required, acquired after you complete the Squadron 42 campaign. And it has sizable guns on it. I believe size 4s and size 5s those are the kind of guns that you will find on bigger ships on this relatively small fighter. So very, very serious firepower. Not really meant to take on human opponents, but more for other species. Personally, I don't really like this uh, I don't really like the look of this ship I think it's a little too busy for me I like it more clean and sleek there's just a little too much stuff going on with the look of this ship that's the insignia of the 999 squadron otherwise known as test squadron I guess they're all called the reckless the emblem design, kind of with the pilot riding a bomb, kind of reminds me of uh, the Doctor Strange Love movie, where a guy was mounted on a nuke, riding it all the way down to try to save the world from World War III. I tried to see if I could get in there, but no luck. But uh, I've seen other people 
had actually stolen the ship from the pilot. I killed the pilot inside while they were out of the armistice zone and taking the ship for themselves. The ship is a beast. The guns it has are a beast. Look at these broadsides. Even these uh these turrets have turrets on top of them. Should get an exhibit. Did exhibit visit this ship? Design this ship or something? Oh, I wish the music kept going. I'll have to inject some more. Nothing fancy, just some music that will be featured in the Squadron 42 campaign. Rips straight from the game files, thanks to Chiff Monkey. And then there's these big, big turrets on the top and bottom of the ship. If I am mistaken, it's, I think it's like size 10 guns on it. At the time I recorded this, the guns were actually scaled a little, a little too much, so that they're actually clipping into each other. But in a later patch, they had fixed that. My guess is that there was this is not the actual model they're going to use for these turrets. They're going to use a different gun. It is. They're, they don't have it finished yet, so I guess they just took one of the uh, existing guns and basically scaled it up for this turret. The approximate size of the proper guns, I believe. Here's the bridge. Of course, blacked out windows because there's actually no interiors yet. They spawned this ship without an interior. This is not finished yet. This is the hangar door where you can... Looks like you can fit a small ship in there. It's about to say Vanguard, but that might be a little too tight. This ship has engines on its engines. Like... Shitload of engines. Like... Like, once again, I think they got exhibited to design this shit. It's crazy. Yeah, here you can see the guns clearly clipping into each other. Clearly not meant to be the actual models on the turret. These big turrets are on tracks that you tread into the rear when they're not in use. And while this ship can't actually land, it has no landing gear, it's too heavy really, it can still go into the atmosphere, like upper atmosphere, but any deeper into a gravity well, then it probably would need some help or it would be beached on the planet, like a helpless well. I mean, there's already a javelin wreck in this system. <clears throat> I guess that's what happened. Someone came a little too close to the moon and I don't know how the captain allowed this to happen, but <laughs> whatever. If he survived, he probably had heavy, heavy consequences. He survived. He's having a little difficulty getting back into the uh, gravity zone. Ow. Again, it's a pretty badass ship, but the design is a little too 
busy for too much wings and stuff on it. But this ship, the F7A, this ship just looks beautiful. Now, in game, we have the F7C, the civilian model, but it looks nowhere near as sleek as this ship. Again, try to see if there's a way to get inside. I couldn't. Here's this ship with the uh, the big dick energy right underneath it. This is a uh, a frigid class ship called the Idris or Idris. It can hold, it can launch two fighters from in it. With that big hangar door in the front, and the prow of the ship. Right here. Oh boy, it's this massive capital killer railgun. Pretty sure it can blow a hole straight clean through this whole station. It's a size 12, pretty much the biggest gun that will ever be in game. As this ship is not really released to the players yet. Since this ship is atmosphere capable, it has these massive air intakes. It also has landing gear. It's pretty much the largest ship that can land. Not to say the Javelin can't go into atmosphere, but it it can't climb out without some help. There goes the uh, Slenderman turret gunners floating above where they're supposed to be stationed at. You know, little glitches here and there like this. So I still in the alpha state. Again, blacked out windows. Because there's no actual interior right now. They say they don't want to release this ship to the players yet. Because they need to, until after a Squadron 42 releases, because they don't want to spoil people's first experiences. As a Squadron 42 takes place prominently on this ship. Can't wait to see that massive railgun in action. And back to the javelin, it has these huge torpedo tubes. Right in front of the ship. At least I believe it's a torpedo tube. Looks the most like it. I don't know what this uh, middle section has, but that, that looks like a window. A tall window right in front. A nice uh, observatory from inside the ship. You can see all the turret gunners outside of the seats stretched. 
so the 999 squadron has taken off and started doing some maneuvers around. Guessing someone with a crime stat has uh, came nearby the station and they were like trying to make sure to keep the peace, keep the security. Yeah, this turret was tracking something. Someone. There it goes. The fleet is now departing this station and we'll be heading on over to the next planet. They do their rounds. Like they go to a planet for like 20 or 30 minutes, then they go to the next planet for everyone to check out and stuff. It was a free week, so there was a lot of new players in the game, too, so. It's probably pretty exciting for them. And that's that. Just setting up the camera now and uh, taking screenshots. That's why you see the occasional stutter. It's me pressing the print screen button. And uh, just watching the pretty fireworks as the fleet goes on its way. I hope next year they actually they actually can like show off the interiors. So I don't think they wanted to do it yet because they don't want to do it before Squatch 42 releases because they want to they want our first time experiences inside of these ships in the Squatch 42 campaign. To not spoil it, but personally, I really don't care. Now I hope the Bango can make an appearance next year as well. It's like the biggest ship. It's an actual carrier class ship. It's massive. So big in fact it has trams inside of it to get from one side of the ship to the other. Just like carriers in real life, it's a pretty much a floating city. It can hold possibly a full fleet of ships, of bombers, fighters, what anything else you need. But I hope they also have the uh, the fighters, the squad, the fighter squadron, flying in the at planet's atmosphere, and, uh, flying between buildings and such, doing aerial maneuvers and whatever. Kind of like the Thunderbirds, and Blue Angels in the real world, you know, to give us an actual air show. I believe that's what they tried to do, but the AI is not still not up to par for that yet. Yeah, that's it.